Rated E10 for ages 10 and up. Hey, super animals, it's Michael here again with Jake to give you an overview of what's coming to the island in the season four update. This time, there's something huge coming to the island, the giant star-nosed mole boss. And he's not alone. Season 4 has plenty in store for us to unpack. So let's not waste time and dig in. He's big, he's angry, he's visually impaired. The giant star-nosed mole has clawed his way into the fray to duke it out in our Saw vs. Rebellion mode. After one team drops to 400 reinforcement points in a match, a warning will display signaling the mole's approach. Use this time to spot where he'll be so you and your team can converge on his location. He's got a bone to pick with both sides, and will make that fact known by throwing heavy crates at players within range and performing a devastating ground slam attack if anyone gets too close. He may not be a mobile threat, but he can soak up enough bullets to make up for it. You'll have to focus your fire on the mole while constantly dodging his attacks, or else he'll send you right back to the respawn hatch. Holy moly. If you do manage to defeat him, the player who dealt the last hit to the boss will net their team a temporary 20% movement speed boost. But that's not all. The mole will also leave behind a special reward crate when killed. Opening this crate causes the opposing team to lose 100 reinforcement points, so be sure to secure it before the other team gets the chance. Our goal with the design of the mole was to create opportunities for comebacks, but you'll need to work hard to earn it. It can also function as an early mercy for the winning team to secure a faster, decisive victory if they kill the mole first. Overall, we wanted to avoid matches feeling too predetermined at mid-game, and the mole is only one way we're addressing that in this update. To further supplement the potential for dynamic comebacks, capturing flags is now faster, and 10 additional points are docked from your enemy each time you cap a flag. Additionally, your points drain slower and your enemies drain faster when you hold more flags, creating the potential for bigger swings when flags change hands. We've made a lot of adjustments to the mode to encourage more explosive and dynamic matches, as well as some quality of life improvements. So be sure to read through the patch notes for all the details. The Lab Labs have heard your rallies for reptiles, super animals. For too long, the super turtles have been alone in representing their scaly phalum of the animal kingdom, so we couldn't delay any longer in delivering super lizards to you. Now, starting at level 20, you can gather lizard DNA by playing matches and use it to unlock the super lizard in its many breeds. We can't wait to see some cold-blooded combatants show the island who's boss. As always, a major update means a new season, and a new season means a new animal pass. For season four, players will get to progress through the Sense of Scale pass, featuring items relating to all things big, small, and scaly. Highlights of the pass include the highly requested T-Pose emote and the Scale Mill armor outfit for super animals who wish they could have scales, but don't. And we can't forget about the new mini lizard pet. He might just be one of the sweetest mini animals the Lab Labs have whipped up yet, as long as you have lots of crickets to feed him. Lots and lots of crickets. The Sense of Scale Pass will be available at a discounted price of 550 tickets during Season 4, before joining all of our previous passes in the Archive, where you can purchase, reactivate, and complete them all at your own pace alongside your current pass. Season 4 also arrives with a new starter pack, which contains the Super Platinum Fox Breed, the Ninja Outfit, the Psy Melee Weapon Skin, and 600 Saw Tickets. Two long-standing points of interest on the island are getting an update. First, the Saw Research Lab's tank room has been remodeled to better match the versions seen in the game's menus and SAR tonight. Giant eagle-eyed players will also be able to spot different super animals floating in the tanks, including a giant emu in a specially designed pod for giant animals. The room's layout has also been improved for gameplay, so that the tanks provide more cover and corners while also leaving some open space. We've also updated the central region of Pixel Port to bring back something we all loved from the old shipyard's point of interest. There's now a maze of shipping crates scattered all around to create lots of interesting pathways and cover to fight around. Just don't tell the four beaver how much the beavers have been slacking in their container organization. 
there's a long list of gameplay changes and improvements to read about in the patch notes that we don't have time to get into here. But we'll highlight a few especially impactful ones before we sign off and let you hop into the game. The BCG now features a helpful charge indicator, making it a lot easier to line up your shots and visualize the trajectory of eggs. Additionally, its splash damage has been improved, especially for its legendary rarity, so you can ensure your enemies will be scrambled even without a direct hit. The sniper and hunting rifle are also getting an update. When you creep to get the zoomed out scoped effect, the weapon's range will now also increase. So if your aim is good, you'll be able to hit enemies that you can see with the increased view. Players were also liking the way that Dogna's dart gun could stack multiple healing darts on their allies in Saw vs. Rebellion. So we're bringing that change to all modes. And the Ninja Booty's super power-up is also improved, reducing the sound of all movement-related noises and providing a 5% movement speed buff to help it compete with the other power-ups in the game. As with all changes, please join our Discord server to provide us your feedback so we can keep making improvements and tweaking the game's balance. We are so excited to see what you all think of the giant star-nosed mole boss and the improvements to the Saw vs. Rebellion game mode, as well as the debut of those long-awaited super lizards. Strap on your helmet, super animals, and we'll see you on the island. Be sure to check out the latest episode of Super Animal Royale tonight, where you'll see the superest kills and blooperest scoopers as submitted by the community, keep up with the adventures of Peep and Joe, and learn the origins of the giant star-nosed mole. We've also linked the patch notes in the description, and for everything Super Animal World, be sure to subscribe.